Hello, welcome. It's Philly Philly. Welcome to my kitchen. And tonight, it's wings. It's a Tuesday, but we'll pretend it's a Wednesday. It is Wings Wednesday on a Tuesday, and I'm really excited about the recipe tonight because it is going to be a combination of three of my favorite things. One of them is honey, one of them is hot sauce. The other one is something that I especially have fond feelings and memories of in the summertime, especially East Coast here, and that is Old Bay seasoning. So when I came across this recipe for honey old bay wings i was immediately curious and smitten so a little bit about this recipe uh, this recipe is from whip it up with jay who has a youtube channel here um, on youtube and i got i watched his video was very curious um, but wanted to put my spin on it based upon what we have been doing with wings this past year. So things like a dry brine a day before and you know now that we kind of have the temperature settings that we like. And I also wanted to add some baking powder because as you might remember for the past few times we've been adding that to the spice mix for our attempts to not only dry out the wings so they can crisp up better, but the baking powder is also supposed to help you know, crisp up the wings in general. So um, let me catch up to speed, but welcome. And, and if you're watching from afar and you just want to stay in the background, I'm so glad you joined us. And if you're here and you want to participate in the chat, you know I always love uh, chit-chatting with my foodie friends. So be sure to say hello. And um, DS, hey DS, nice to see you. And please give my regards to Ruby as well. So last night, as I've been doing with all of these wings recipes, I did the dry brine. So it, um, Whip It Up With Jay made it really uh, easy because he had a dry you know, seasoning that he was gonna be tossing the wings with. And so what I did last night was I combined one tablespoon of Old Bay, a half a tablespoon of paprika. And so when I just see it say paprika, I'm assuming just sweet paprika and one teaspoon of black pepper, ground black pepper, and then one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And then I added a half a tablespoon of baking powder to that mixture. So I tossed it up and I coated these wings well and they have been drying in my little dry method, which is just a rack above, um, you know, kind of any baking pan. This is actually a cake pan, but this really helps them dry out. So you can see these are well seasoned and they're ready to go in. So super excited. So I'm going to actually get to my air fryer preheating because we know a preheated air fryer is going to make us the best wing. So let me get that going. All right. So let's see who else is joining us. Um, and it's, oh, so Ruby says hello. And DS says wings are amazing. There are so many yummy combinations one can make with them. Yes. And so, and I agree, and honestly, DS, I'm really enjoying kind of like checking all these different variations out. It's giving me and Hubs a great excuse to have wings once a month, I'm not gonna lie. But, but also, I feel like there isn't a lot of guilt around having some wings once a month because we're doing an air fryer. So we're not deep frying them, which I love, but I don't want the calories and fat that goes with that. So, um, and the air fryer just does such a great job of crisping up the skin and the wings and making them really delicious. So one of the things that we are gonna be doing after we get them in the air fryer is we are gonna be making a sauce that we are going to then be putting over top of the wings when they come out. So uh, DS and Ruby, if you have wings, what are your go-to? Like if you're out and maybe you have a go-to that you make at home, but if you go out, what is your wings of preference, I'm curious. Yes, the air fryer, you know, and it's funny. I know it's, it'll be interesting in a few more years what a lot of cooks say, because I really think, you know, sometimes these inventions, so to speak, you know, they become kind of passe and people just find that they're just sitting, taking up space, you know, on their countertop. But I've got to say for me, it, it is used regularly, almost every day, depending upon, if, obviously if we're eating out, it might not be used, but I, I use it regularly. And it's, I feel like it keeps my kitchen cooler. It gives me great texture and results. And especially cooking for two, I, I just love it. I think, I think it's hard to beat. So very, very excited with that. 
And Archie, you're, yes, uh, we got some big wings here for you, Arch. You just kind of missed the reveal, but you got to see. Uh, and again, they're connected. They're not separate, but of course you can do this separate, but these are some nice wings. In fact, I, uh, I was actually noticing that this one came with five connected wings. So the last time it had six. So two of these are a little bit bigger, um, but yeah, very excited about it. So Archie also, um, I'm so excited that you tried the honey gochujang wings. And I think you did it a little bit differently. Is that correct? So um, did you cook them in the sauce? So let me know about that too. And because and, your pictures look gorgeous and how you felt the results were. I know you and I were going into a deep dive of trying to get a good gochujang. But, um, but besides that, just wondering how the technique, you know, impacted your results and what you thought of it. And oh, Archie's cooking paella at the moment. Oh, wonderful, that sounds amazing. Um, you know, Archie, what are, you, are you putting seafood in your paella or are you doing something different? You'll have to let us know. So yes, anyways, let's get these in. I think our air fryer is almost ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these, um, you know, sprayed with some oil. I'm just using a neutral oil. I think the one I'm using currently is sunflower oil. And then we will oil the um, air fryer basket once it comes out, but we can get these going. So I'm just going to get a layer on one side. And it looks like you might be getting some storms today. The weather, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna be a bit of a stormy evening. So I just put some spray oil on these. I'm gonna go get my basket because it's just about ready to come out. And I'm gonna get that sprayed. There we go. And I'm gonna get these in. Hubs is lurking about, he's in the house. He's in the house tonight. I know he hasn't been here for a lot of them and you all have missed him. Came home early tonight. Came home early. And if you want the mic, by the way, it's over there in by that corner, babe. So I'm just gonna flip these so I can get the other side. So what do you think about having these Old Bay honey wings? What are your thoughts, babe? Talking to me? I am talking to you. And I'll repeat since they probably can't hear you really well. So I'm going to get these sprayed. So just spraying these um, on this side. I'm curious. He's curious. I'm remaining curious. All right. Already it's kind of smelling like a seafood boil. So it's Old Bay and what? It's Old Bay and honey. Um, well, there's Old Bay and some other seasonings. Let me get this in first. Yeah, I think it is going to be sweet salty. So I'm going to put this at let me just get this set at 380 is what we've been enjoying. And I'm going to put this in for <clears throat> 25 minutes. That has been gold for us. And then I am going to, I'm going to, might, I might flip it twice in between, but I definitely have the timer going. So I make sure I'll do it at least once, but I actually been thinking about maybe doing it twice. So yes, yeah, so the rub that they had beforehand, let me get him his mic so that y'all can hear his lovely voice. Let me get that for him. One second, friends. It's okay. It's okay, he says. That's fine. There you go, babe. Thank you. Yes. Um, so in the rub, it had black pepper, Old Bay, paprika, and Italian seasoning. And of course, I put the baking powder in to help dry it out. But the sauce will have, let me show you now actually, friends. The sauce, and I'm gonna do this in the microwave, switch it up a little bit. The, the sauce will have honey, Old Bay, and then it just said hot sauce. So I'm picking one of my favorite all-purpose hot sauces, which is Cholula, just their all-purpose sauce. You could of course pick whichever one you liked. So in here, we're going to have a half a cup of honey. So again, you get that sweet element. Oh, we've been enjoying that. One of our streams that we had really brought out the joy of that sauce for us. This is a lot of honey, by the way. I think this is going to... How much honey you put? Half a cup. Oh, God. I know. I might... I think I'm going to make a... 
I'm going to change it up because that is just a lot of sauce for these wings. So I'm going to just put a little over a quarter cup and then I'm going to reduce this by half. So per the regular recipe, it would be a half cup honey, a tablespoon of hot sauce, a half tablespoon of Old Bay. So I'm going to just do instead a half a tablespoon of, let me see here. I'm going to do my Old Bay first. I'm going to go like a quarter of a tablespoon, so a slightly over a quarter of a tablespoon, and then a definite half a tablespoon of hot sauce, a little over that. So let me shake it up. Let's see what I'm missing. Oh, Bake Across America, wonderful. And I forget your first name, so I apologize for that. But um, welcome to the stream. And the 1990s predecessor to the air fryer. My mother-in-law still uses one. Oh, I think I missed this. I got to look. It's called the Jetstream oven. Oh, I remember the Jetstream oven. I absolutely remember hearing about that. That is, that is so funny. I definitely remember that. <laughs> and Archie claims he's too young. Well, we're going to all get all about that one. Um, that is hysterical. I do remember the infomercials. That is awesome. Hey, Kathy, welcome to the stream. And um, Archie likes, oh, that's right, Crystal Louisiana hot sauce. I remember that. And he told you to butt out. I do. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, actually, everyone, so what is your DS and Kath and um, uh, Bake Across Europe, what are your favorite hot sauces? I would love to know. So, but meanwhile, I am going to put uh, my favorite, which is the Chulo. I'm going to put a little over a half a tablespoon of that in. So let's get that in. And then we're just going to heat this up in the microwave. You could do this on the stove for sure, um, but we're just going to do it in the microwave. Let me put those aside, I have a spoon to stir. Because I, my thinking was once they come out, I'm just gonna drizzle this over everything in that, in our little, you know, toss pan there, or wing pan bowl. I guess it's more of a wing bowl. So let me just give this a little bit of a stir. It's quite thick, so the heat will enable it to become, to thin out and become very pourable. There's like a vat of honey. In there. there is a vat of honey in there. There's some honey, honey. Now you do want to make sure this doesn't boil over in your, um, so I'm just putting it in for a minute and I'm going to check on it. because you don't. And I'm going to keep this out just in case I need a little spicier. You know I like things spicy. But the Jet Air, or was it called Jen, it was, did you say Jen Air or Jet Air? Because I think it was Jen Air, right? J-E-N-N? -N? And let's see here, and she said, my eight-year-old just walked in the room and said, is that Billy, Billy? <laughs> Oh, you made my night. That is so awesome. Well, tell your daughter I said hello. Tell her Philly Philly sends love from my place to your place. And she is a lucky daughter with the things that you make. I don't know if any of you have checked out Bake Across Europe's website, but she makes phenomenal, phenomenal sweets. Um, I'm going to check on this real quick. So what happens when you're not watching is it kind of, it kind of boils up. Oh. And actually, she thinks that maybe your daughter was excited to see hubs. Archie, what do you think about that? So you can see already it just thins it out. I'm going to just cook it just a little bit longer. I just want to make it so he thought it was Jetstream. Does anyone remember Gen Air? Or was that just a brand? Maybe that was just a brand. And Archie says, um, oh, is Johnny with us? Oh, no, that's right. Uh, but Chris recommended uh, the crystals. That's wonderful. I've got to look for that. Oh, well, and I, I just love y'all. I just, I, I, it just blows my mind, the thought that, that y'all watch. I just love it. So, and I really wish that, um, you know, if you ever want to try to live stream, like, just give me a holler because I just think there's something really fun about watching and being in the kitchen while someone's cooking. It's kind of like when we were growing up and we might be in the kitchen when our mom's cooking or our grandma's cooking. It's the same kind of idea. It just feels intimate and lovely. So I'm going to let that go a few more seconds and let that stay warm in there. So one of the things I did so that I wouldn't bore you all with my terrible cutting skills is 
Hubs and I like to have a salad with our wings, so I made already just a, this is probably our, my biggest, whoop, my biggest summer staple salad, which is Forestville, but just I'm being real, is cucumbers, red onions, and tomatoes. And these tomatoes from, well, actually everything is from our nearby market, but the tomatoes are actually San Marzano, which is well, what do you, really. Do you put something well, yeah, so sometimes I'll put red wine vinegar and I'll put oregano. This time I just did white balsamic vinegar with some olive oil, salt, and pepper. So I'm not a huge cucumber fan, but I love Yeah, it. it's and just, already, to me, it's a great counterpart, right? It just. He, and we're shocked about that, aren't we? Yes, he's already pilfered. So that's what we'll be having with our wings tonight. Let me just wipe this off. So we'll get to see Hubs, you know, take too, too hot a bite. Yes, please send Amy my best as well. And she's currently drawing some stuff for leaflets she's posting through doors. I'm not sure. So is it a project for school, I'm wondering? That's awesome. So, um, did you? Did I miss you all? Tell me what kind of wings you like. So, I'm, let me go back and see because I might have been doing stuff. DS said that he missed he missed his Andy, so he's glad you're here. Miss you too. Yeah. He missed. Yeah, that's when I forget you have the thing on, so they can hear you now. Um, so, no one put what kind of oh, wings turned, they like. I forgot to turn it off. I think it already is on, babe. No, I turned it off. Oh, he turned it off. So, DS, he said he misses you too. Um, so yeah, y'all gotta tell me what kind of wings. If you've got a hankering for wings, what kind you like? What's your favorite? My favorite so far has been the, that honey gochujang. That that was pretty good. And then my second favorite was the um, the the one that I made kind of with a compilation of dry rubs. I kind of put them together to make my own dry rub, yep. and then did the white. Um, the Louise, is it Louisiana white sauce? Yeah. Alabama right. white sauce. Alabama, Alabama white sauce. Those are my second what favorite. Was the, what was the one that Matt used to get at PG? Oh, he, garlic parm. Those, again, I'm not a garlic guy, but. Yeah, but I, when I tried to replicate those, yeah, mine yeah. didn't come close. But so they're, there's. They're good at PJ's. Yeah, there's a place called PJ Willihan's that makes these amazing garlic parm. I don't know what they put in it, but I've tried to replicate it. I, I need to stay in research and development because it is not happening yet. But. But I, I do think those honey goja chang were just, so if you have not tried them yet, totally recommend. It was really easy. And if you, you know, there is a little spice to it. So if you're worried about the spice, just add less than I recommend. But the flavor is unmatched and it's absolutely delicious. So let's take a peek and see if we need to flip these. Ooh, they puffed up nice. So look what happens when you do a little prep. The skin is dry, it puffed up. I'm going to flip them. It's just, I wish you could see more fully what I'm seeing. Like it, it really is, I, I just, I think the air fryer is the perfect place to cook wings. It just does such a nice job. And of course, if you have a convection oven, well you could do these in your oven for sure. And if you have a convection oven, I would recommend that because that keeps the air moving across them which helps dry out the skin and make it crispy. But what happens in the air fryers, it's a smaller space, so it increases the impact. Why, that's why the air fryers are so um, successful in what they do, because you're increasing your impact. So I'm popping these back in. We've got about 16 minutes left. I'll probably flip them one more time. There we go. I won't spray them one more time, because they have plenty of oil, but, uh, but yes. I just, I think the air fryer is phenomenal. Oh, so I wanted to know, I know I shared a feta eggs. There's a viral um, feta fried egg. So I didn't know if anyone else has tried that. I did it with spinach and it was delicious because I just love the whole, you know, spanakopita flavors and all that. I saw on Instagram though, because I'm now on Instagram, there was someone, I can't remember who it was. She did it with Arch. She did it with chili crisp. She put the feta around in a ring and then she drizzled some chili crisp and let that all get bubbly um, and melted and then dropped the egg in the middle and she put that on avocado smeared on a, um, a browned tortilla and then, yeah, and then full, I think she sprinkled something on maybe cilantro and, and it was, it looked amazing. It looked really, really good. So I didn't know if anyone had, had tried them. Oh, so Maddie, yes. So Maddie's wondering um, if we're going to drive them over to him. Which Maddie? Our Maddie. 
Maddie, who? Okay. So sadly, sadly, no, but you're welcome to come over here and get a bite if you'd like, and you can like wrestle your dad with it. I'm locking Amy, the door. Nice to have you on. And she, you said, I've been told to stop what I'm doing and come say hi. Well, I'm so glad you did. Always, always great to have you on the chat, Amy. Everyone's, oh, you know what? You all are just the best. Everyone's just chit chatting to each other. And by the way, while we're waiting, I, I forgot, I was thinking my happy hour stream was going to be when we were away on vacation, but my happy hour stream is actually this Friday. I'm not sure if I'll be solo, which I might be because I don't know if pubs will be home in time, which is totally fine. No, um, yeah, I've got to go to I know. storage. And right. So anyways, but I'm doing a happy hour. Well, I can always delay it when if you, you want. I was going to do it at 5. Yeah, I won't be home. Okay. Well, if you want, so stay tuned. It's scheduled for 5, but if we, if we need no, to delay it, do it, to go ahead and do it. So I'm going to share. I had, I had taken a picture and posted the super easy but absolutely delicious um, citrusy vodka and tonic, and that's all I'll say. But I will tell you, um, it does utilize a certain vodka with botanicals, and it is the easiest vodka and tonic, and it tastes like you spent much more time on it. It's such a refreshing drink. Right now, a lot of us, depending upon where we are on, on the earth, we are in summer and we're in hot and humid weather, so this, this drink really satisfies. So that'll be Friday at 5, but stay tuned. I might end up doing a little later. I'm just going to put that back in since we already checked it a little sooner. So I'm curious. So are you, are, are they not, how long does it take them to cook? I 25 minutes is what I found to be the sweet spot. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. we tried a couple different ways and 20, I think 20 they're seems, cooked. It seems like a long time. I think 20 they're cooked, but 25 they're crispier. Okay. That's that's I go five more minutes because it's worth the texture, team texture for me. And Absolutely. So it, it, does that say 13 minutes left? I can't. So 13 minutes left, yes. Okay. And then once it comes out, we'll drizzle it, we'll toss it, we'll plate it, and hope that those things like cool down a little bit, and then we'll we'll split one you and I, and then okay. we'll get two others um, once we go back over. So over do there. you? Um, In fact, I want to get the little. What's plate your up. favorite place to to get wings? Say that again. What's your favorite place to get wings? Oh, Out. that's a really good question. I'm full of good questions. I don't know if I have a favorite place because I'm so picky with my wings. Oh, so I've had some really good wings. So we, we remember um, back in the day, there was a, a certain kind of wings that they had at, um, um, oh, Distrito. Remember Distrito oh, had this certain kind? So I can't good. remember what they were, but they were phenomenal. Distrito. Those were, those were great. And um, those. those were phenomenal. And who's the guy, who's the chef that owns Distrito? Distri uh, Garces? Is that a Garces? Um, yeah, Garces. It's Garces. Garces. Jose Garces. And then, um, I don't know. I feel like, I mean, we've gotten them great ones out. We've gotten some good oh, uh, Asian. We've gotten some good Asian. And then remember down at La Peg, they had, um, they ha but they even had a back. They had those spicy ones. What were they? They were, they weren't jerk. They were, um, um, they were like what Louisiana hot chicken or something. They had these Louisiana hot chicken wings, but it was a special. And I would get them every time we went there if they would have them again. They were, they knocked my socks off. And they were spicy, but they were absolutely delicious. What's the place over? How about you? Right over in South Jersey that. Um, oh, Jug Handle. Jug Handle. Jug yes, the problem like is joint, when I, I like, you know, joints. That oh, yeah. Wings, I have no problem with it being a simple, joint. For sure. Greasy. And and like sloppy. you said, um, you know, uh, PJs, their garlic parm are phenomenal. No, they're, they're their really, wings are just good in general. Their wings but, are good in general, but their yeah. garlic parm are really, really good. Right. Is Matt still on? Ask him if Matt, uh, those are his favorite. Matt, I'm sure those are your favorite, right, Matty? You'll have to let me know. And then let's see. Um, Hubs needs to get with it. No garlic, no chili. I'm going to send him some pretty white frilly socks. Oh, so he's giving you a hard time. Um, and then uh, Amy, many, many years ago, I used to take care of greyhounds. About 50. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That's actually, you know, something I don't know if we'll ever do it. Oh, but boy. if we do get another dog, I would love to, because we've always gotten rescues. I would love to get um, a greyhound rescue uh, because I've heard such wonderful things about their temperaments. 
And um, Cass said, work's too busy. That's okay, Cass. You keep doing you. You are doing great. And then Diaz says, sometimes I will do Tabasco and butter or Frank's and butter, honey, chipotle, Parmesan, lemon, pepper. Yes. And I will say, when we did early on, we did um, honey hot wings, which was just honey cutting into, we did it with the Cholula, and then we did it with the mango habanero I have. Those were one of my most easy, like, favorites. Just you do it all-purpose seasoning, then you add... You know, you do your butter and your hot sauce and you add a little honey to sweeten it up. Those were phenomenal. And Amy says, I used to know someone who had a retired greyhound. Beautiful doggies. They are. They are beautiful. Oh, yeah. And Maddie said garlic parm on top. Absolutely. And PJ's does it phenomenally. I will have to say one mistake I made at Jug Handle. What's that? Was that I did not ask for them. Um, I think it's dry. Where I want it tossed in the sauce, but I don't want it then sitting in the sauce. You'll see that when I toss mine, I always then take them out and put them onto the plate. I don't drizzle more sauce. Now, some people might like them more saucy, but for me, I'm, I'm, I always feel like it's gonna make them soggier, so I don't, I don't wanna do that. So friends, you know, I will be working on the September schedule soon. How is that possible? Because we are already halfway through August, which is crazy. So um, I'm just wondering if there's anything you'd like to see either September or coming up this fall because cooking kind of changes. September, it's still warm here, so I'm not really cooking some of the stuff that, you know, I can expect when the cooler weather comes because um, it still stays pretty warm here in Philly. But, you know, maybe some ideas for fall, winter, you guys will have to let me know. Lasagna. Lasagna, oh dear. You know what's hard about lasagna? is my favorite lasagna is from um, Roselli's. Oh. So this place in New Jersey where we used to live, um, it's a, it's just a catering, like, I mean, like you can, they have a store you can go buy and you can get catered stuff. Friends of ours um, owned it, the Roselli's, and their cheese, and this is gonna sound crazy, their cheese lasagna was the bomb. It was, you know, homemade pasta, phenomenal ricotta. It was so simple just the simple tomato sauce. That's and I, I like a complicated, you know, fancy lasagna, don't get me wrong, but it was, it was actually ideal in its simplicity. Yeah. It, that was my favorite. So I feel like I can't compete. So I almost feel like I need to do something different, like, like do a lasagna with a twist because I'm just gonna compare it to that and I'm gonna be unhappy. Yeah. See, I would do a white lasagna, yeah. I would do, okay. See, it's he's not deal. fun. Pistachio. Well, that's yummy. That's I love. Kind of like I've made that before years ago. Remember, I made a pistachio. I don't. Do you remember that? Nope. I do not. He does not remember that. <laughs> Must have made an impression. No, um, I went through kind of a phase of some different Greek cooking. Um, it was pistachio, and there was something else I made. But yeah. Was that but when I could we were going that. to the Greek, or when you were going to the Greek market? Or no, it wasn't. Was it wasn't then. It was just some time. I because I go through my fads of, <laughs> let me try this, and then you right. You like a Vietnamese food. Fat oh, we're fat. still in the Vietnamese food fat because that I, I love that. Fall veggies. I love that bake across Europe. That's a great idea. In Italy, they use bechamel in the lasagna. Yes, they do. Absolutely. Bechamel. And that makes it rich. So that, that's some of the so I don't order lasagna out a lot only because I love it. I would lasagna is something I would like to split with someone because I find that lasagna out is super heavy. And for me, just a little too much. So it's, I'd rather almost order it, like, because we split a lot of things, and then order, like, some, some fresh fish, you know, to go with it or something like so that. So after the sourdough bread, you know, success, why I got, not? Wait, can you guys pause? It smells ridiculous in here right yeah, now. It does. does it not? That's why I keep talking. Because oh, my I'm God. To my stomach is just going. But go ahead. Go ahead. So after the uh, sourdough success, why don't you make, like, some Italian bread? Or some French bread. Focaccia is next on my list. Focaccia. I want to make focaccia. There you go. Absolutely. That'd be a good idea. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, and Maddie and I are going to be making some pastas. Well, actually, we're going to make some pizzas. So coming up, I think, September, we have got to get a date. We're going to be making some vetri pizza. Maddie who? Your son. And I think in October, making, I think I've mentioned got to you all, um, some homemade orchette. Uh, the little ears and so because I'm, I'm definitely um, what's the word I want to say oh my lord okay so this is let me show you what you don't want to have happen so I got chatty about Maddie and look what happened here friend this is what you don't want to have happened you see that mess see what happens don't do this 
mind your sauce in the microwave that has honey in it because it wants to bubble over. Oh my goodness gracious. Squirrel. That is so, that is so on brand for me. So it's just real, just keeping it real here. So that's gonna be a mess to clean up. All right, luckily I can take this hole, which is one thing I like about this microwave when we moved here. It's got like a whole tray. That is a sticky mess. I'm gonna stir it. Of course, now we gotta taste it though. Exactly, that's what I was just coming over for. Ooh, that's definitely got a sweet profile. I think we need more hot sauce. Don't you think? Yep, mm -hmm. agree. Okay. Although, no, no, there it is. I think a little bit more though. Okay. Don't you, well, let's taste no, it from here. No, I'm good. No, you, you should do more. Okay. Very can tasty you, Can though. you get me a um, paper towel? Let me get some of this mopped up. Sorry about that, friends. That is why you should always mind <laughs> when things are in the broiler. You're right, there is a little latent heat on uh -huh. that, but it's, but it's not terrible. Get you later. Um, or like something boiling. There we go. I knew I was gonna do that too. I thought, oh, I gotta keep my eye on it once I turned that back on. Oh well, I know myself so well. So we're gonna get, luckily honey, honey, comes up with water. So you just gotta dilute it and get it all wiped up and it's good as new. Okay, so we're gonna add some more hot sauce to this as we're waiting for our wings. We got four minutes left, friends. Nope, that's not right. Oh. There we go. All right, so I'm going to just now, I'm just gonna also make sure that this tastes the same as down there. Yes, I think it needs a little more hot sauce. I probably put in like a half a teaspoon, which isn't much. There we go. This is a sticky mess, I'm not gonna lie. Holy cow. Let me see how it tastes now. Much better, much better. It just, it just like I couldn't even taste the hot sauce and I, I wanna know some hot sauces in there, right? I don't wanna have it and think, oh, it's just honey and some old bay seasoning. I wanna, I wanna make sure I can taste it. All right, so we have our hot sauce ready. We're just waiting for our wings to come out. We'll toss them, plate them, try them, and I'm sure we will burn our mouths and so, we will let you know how these are. So are you doing a stream down Yes, I am doing a stream on vacation. What are you doing? I am doing um, a our traditional shrimp boil that oh, we do. You do that. Yeah. So on vacation, I'm going to do a little filly filly work, just with a little bit of a shrimp boil. A little filly filly. A little filly filly in, outer, filly banks. in uh, outer banks. That's right. Okay. So I'm going to use this to plate, and then use this for the one that we're going to actually try. And here's our napkins. I'm going to have them all ready. But yeah, so I don't know if any of you do seafood boils in the summer, but um, a lot of areas around here on the East Coast do them. I, pref I grew up on just a shrimp boil. So when we would go on vacation in the Outer Banks, my mom um, and whoever we were vacationing with, and it was often other families, we would do a huge shrimp boil. And we kept it simple. It was the shrimp boil, salad, bread. That's it, like we just gorged ourselves on these peel and eat shrimp and you get the best shrimp there in Carolina. They are it's like North fresh. Carolina. Just yeah, North Carolina, they are now. fresh off the boats. I get the biggest that, that I can get, like so it's always their jumbo or extra jumbo and they are phenomenal. So that, so I'm gonna be streaming. It won't be a super long stream because frankly it doesn't take that long. But, uh, but yes, I'm gonna just, so you'll get to see vacationing Philly and hubs for just even a briefest of moments. But yes, that'll be coming up next week. All right, so let me check. They are countdown 38 seconds. Let me see what I've missed in here. Um, NTS says, I know I smell it from here. And he said, focaccia, yummy. I make it at least once a month. Do you just make a traditional focaccia or do you, um, I know I've seen some people add olives, rosemary. What do you like to do with your focaccia, DS? And, oh, um, you've been dared by Archie to try the hot sauce on camera, please. He wants a cup of it down your hatch. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, flats are drums, people. I like the flats. Are you ready for school season to start again, Philly? Yes and no. So as a teacher, like, as much as I love my job, it's also, oh, 
sad to like start a new routine because your summer becomes a routine. So let me show this to you, friends. Look at that. They are crisp. You can hear the bubbling. Let me get my, um, one second, friend. I gotta, can you help me find? One second. I just okay. gotta, right where you are. Okay. So I don't have to go around with this hot pan. Thank you, bud. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to put these I'm in the bowl. doing a partial of my dare. Oh, he's taking you up on it, Arch. Well, not quite, but. Not quite. So these are just gorgeous. I, they're just, they're you beautiful. Okay. Look at you. Look at this. I got to show you one of these up close. Just, they're just gorgeous. That was a bad they idea. beautiful, beautifully browned, so crispy. Absolutely phenomenal. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drizzle the sauce over, give it a toss, and then we'll plate it up and hope that they cool down somewhat. By the way, this was plenty of sauce for what we were doing. Um, I'm glad I reduced it. That would have, we would have had like just way too much sauce. So I'm gonna wuss out and not totally flip these lest I get this all over my outfit. Um, oh, the smell, and I will say the honey just seems like a great counterpoint to all the seasoning. You know, it'll be, have a little bit of heat from the hot sauce. That you could totally adjust, make it to your, um, to how you like it. And I think one of the things I'm really excited about is the fact that after trying it, we can decide, like, did we, did we do it enough? Would we do it more? So now I'm going to plate. Let me get one of these off right now for us so that can start cooling. The rest of these I'm going to plate up. Wow. Look at this one. That one. Oh my goodness. These just look amazing. So good. And we've got extra sauce. If anyone wants it, I'm just going to leave that right there. Let me show you. Minus one of them, there they are plated. Look at that, delicious. Very yummy, very yummy. Okay, so there we go. So we again are trying to hope this, um, you know, oh. cools, but this is the one that's up. So would you like the flat or the drum? You choose. No, no, you choose. You made them, so you choose. I don't care. I'll do the flat thing because it's on this okay. side. Okay, so I'll split because it's, oh, it is so warm. I'm gonna actually, can you give me a little bit of a knife, that white one that's right there? Thank you, babe. Careful, that's a hot, that's hot. Just wanna help get started because these are screaming hot. So please be careful because it's gonna be quite. Well, then why don't we wait for a little we'll bit? We'll wait for a we... second, but this helps actually it cool off a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna just case my fingers first. Mm. How are your fingers? They're very tasty. I'm not used to having Old Bay on this kind of. No, it's kind of a it's kind of a yeah, weird. Yeah, because around here, some places will, especially down south, but I think I've even seen here in the summer they'll do Old Bay fries where they'll toss French fries with Old Bay seasoning, which is typically. By the way, for those of you who don't know, in case you don't know, Old Bay is often used um, in the water mm -hmm. or sprinkled on steaming when you're doing crabs or. Lobster, crab legs, chicken peats. Um, chicken peats, a place locally does, they call, they call them crab fries. There's no crab on the fries, which makes me a little sad because I love crab, but it's the seasoning. So that's why they're called crab fries. So they use Old Bay on there. So I'm going to rinse a little bit before I get sticky again, just to kind of give them a chance to, uh, to cool somewhat. And I think we got to go in. All right. I think we got to put our big girl gotta boy go pants in. on. Got to go in go and in. burn ourselves. Go in and burn ourselves. Okay. I'm up for it. You ready? Here we do a little toast of our wings. Oh, Cheers. it's really hot. Cheers. You gave me the hot side. Cheers. That's why you gave me this one. Mmm. Oh, it's wow. It's so crispy. The skin. So juicy, so crispy. That's really good. It's really good. Honestly. Um, not spicy. Could have taken more heat mm -hmm. and a little bit, I mean, they're phenomenal. And a little bit more Old Bay. Or, because there's so much Old Bay in there, or just some salt maybe? Did the, like, do they seem salty enough? That was the other thing I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. Maybe just sprinkle a little salt on top. Yeah. No, I'll no. do that before we have these. 
They are so juicy. Oh man, they're good. They're so juicy in there. Um, it's delicious. It is not spicy at all. I followed the recipe. Um, if you want it spicy, add more yeah, you could add hot more. sauce. But it's what's nice is I think if you didn't have it, it would seem too sweet. So it's nice Correct. to kind of like balance the um, the honey. It's really good. But nice, they're, nicely they're done. delicious. And they're a nice switch up. Yeah. Well I think done. I think they have the summer vibe because of the old bay, especially around here, you know. Yeah. I mean they would be great at a picnic. People would be excited about that. Especially people that don't like seafood. Not everyone likes seafood. So I think people would like the idea of having Old Bay on something approachable like chicken. Yep. They're awesome. Very good. And I'm telling you, the biggest thing I will tell you is dry rub overnight, baking powder. It just provi it just makes a super crispy wing. Like mm -hmm. it is unbelievable. Like that is something no matter what you're doing, just make sure you're um, getting it prepared the night before so it can dry out and air out and that I mean, can this be crispy. Stuff is like hits you after the fact. Like I'm, I'm feeling you feel heat, it? heat in my throat huh. right now. Yep. Interesting. It's good though. Well, this is delicious. My favorite still rests with honey goju chang, but whip it with Jay, this is, this is delicious. So thank you for sharing that. I can't wait to see what our next one will be. What happens is now I'm on like the wing hunt. So when I'm just looking through Instagram or YouTube or um, Twitter, I just, I see wings and I start thinking, hmm, is it something I want to try out? So you know I'm not stopping this trend anytime soon. You can expect wings once a month from Philly. But, oh my gosh, uh, bake across Europe. Say hi to your daughter to Archie and Amy, DS, Kathy. Um, and I'm trying to think, I think that, and, and Ruby, um, it is so, and Maddie, it is so great uh, to to have you on and Kath hope you're getting your work done and have a great week and I will hopefully see some of you if not watch it later on Thursday when I do happy hour stay tuned for the time right now it's at five o'clock but if I switch it of course you all know I'll let you know you, so you said Thursday you mean Friday I meant Friday did I say Thursday Paul yes yeah. so okay. I meant Friday Friday happy hour and so until we eat again have a great rest of your week friends see ya